Eat this, drink that, go. We're back here at History Mind Museum, and there is a permanent exhibit, the history of our area, and we're pleased to be joined by the resident historian, Dr. Paul George. Thank Doctor, you. Good to see you. Yeah. Great to see yeah. you, you too. Know, th Thank you. This, now, this is going back a long time. What is this piece? Well, elitic limestone uh, undergirds the land that we're standing on, and uh, you know, it's porous, our water comes up through this, and this is the beginnings, really, 10,000 years of habitation in this area, uh, which is unbelievable. People usually knock the area, it's too young to have a history. We've had people here 10,000 years. Oh, wow. So it goes on. Yeah, see, so we don't realize that, and as we go through this, we walk through quickly before with Dr. G, and there are so many wonderful yeah. things. Exactly, well we got here, which is fascinating, evidence of these people, both fossilized and artifactual wow. evidence of people going back, so-called Paleo-Indians. We've had a lot of great archeological digs in recent decades, and that's why we're beginning to fill in this long ago picture. Now, there was also obviously the animals that were here, the difference oh, between what we had. Did we really have woolly mammoths here? Yes, we did. We had mastodons <laughs> and saber-toothed tigers. I mean, this is unbelievable. Where'd they all go? <laughs> they are extinct, <laughs> but we've got them here. We've got some of their fossils here, right, right. which oh, is amazing. That's, that's really cool, too. Some of the fossils are unbelievable. Just, I know, I love live. this. No cars to worry about, that's for sure. And they did it all without air conditioning. That's what and, I find and amazing. A lot, and a lot of mosquitoes. <laughs> and a lot of mosquitoes, right. But, oh, uh, you know, it was a... Wow. A primeval, beautiful existence now, for a lot now, of people. Now, these, these uh, Native Americans, uh, Seminoles, Miccosukees? Well, uh, the Spanish came here 500 years ago and referred to them as Tequestas. So, mm -hmm. generically, it's a very inexact thing. We call them Tequestas. Right. But really, 10,000 years ago, uh, we weren't really names for them at all. I mean, just Native, Native, Native Miami, Americans. Yeah, right. yeah. Native yeah. Miamis, Native Americans. Let me take you over here. I wanted to show you something I thought was really fascinating because it's gained so much fame and notoriety. The Miami Circle oh, on right. the south bank of the river. Uh, this excavation took place in the summer of 1998, and uh, we've testated a lot of this stuff back to beyond 2,000 years. Perfectly circular carving in a bedrock, 38 feet in diameter, about two to three feet below the surface. So you're talking about an engineering feat by people that had rudimentary tools. Right. To do something like that is unbelievable. Wow. These would have been the predecessors of the Tequestas. Now, do we Did know, these items come from that as well? Uh, uh, these come from there, and we've got a lot more in storage here at the museum. Do, wow. do we know what they were doing with this with this circle? Was it, well, was well, it religious well, for them? Well, it could have been a ceremonial house, or it could have been a chief's house. It was something special because it's at the point where the bay meets the river on the south bank. So, you know, it's got a great perch. You've got people coming in, people going out at that point. Right. So probably something real important, but, you know, just an educated guess. Right. They had post holes in the rock, which meant that they put logs in there, we believe, that buttress walls and maybe even a roof of some kind. So That's a, amazing. A turtle shell. A turtle shell turtle going shell. back over 2,000 years. That's so cool. It's just, it's amazing to think how many millennia we've had people here. Right. Yeah. So we, we think of Miami as, you know, way back in the 50s or the exactly. 60s. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Pioneer status. Right, exactly. That's why people really need to visit yeah. History of Miami. Yeah, History of Miami has it all here. Uh, the Spanish era, the would-be conquistadors in Florida in general, some in the Miami area too. Uh, just so many artifacts here. Silver ingots, a mill fisher coming up uh, from the Atosha. This oh went down gosh. in 1622, X number of miles off of Key West. He discovered all this Look in 1985. A left-handed dagger there. Now these these would be what uh, uh, silver? silver? Silver, exactly. Oh. You know, coming out of maybe the great mines in Central America, right. especially around Peru. Right. I mean, yeah, the stories are unbelievable. How about the host press here for a Spanish Jesuit mission in Southwest Florida? They would have, they would have boss a host uh, used in communion, the Eucharist, break off a piece and give it to somebody who was. You know, at mass. So this is a communion wafer that they exactly, wow. exactly, and this was buried, and they dug it up. We've had it here on loan for many, many years. Fifteen sixty-seven is. Can you imagine this? No, well, I know. Imagine. I can't either. I can't. And just either. again, some of the artifacts over time, some of the maps of Dutch, British, Spanish, 
How many different groups actually controlled South Florida at one time? I mean, you said the British, you told me earlier yeah, the, the, the British the, did too. Well, we had a first Spanish period from 1565 to 1763, the British from 1763 to 1783, Spanish again until 1821, and then we bought it for $5 million, the entire state. Who did we buy it from, the Spanish? Spanish, yeah. And for five million bucks. Five million bucks oh the entire my state. Goodness. Have they asked for any of the money back at all? <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, what a deal, huh? what, a, what deal. a deal. So here we have what we call the territorial period. We now own, the United States owns Florida, Key West is one of the most important cities because of location, right. and the courts and everything else there. And then, of course, we're unusual because we had a contingent of Miccosukees and Seminoles who stayed here. They weren't pushed to Oklahoma. They engaged in a couple wars. They took refuge in the Everglades. Uh, the American forces couldn't fight them in riverine warfare. I mean, it was just, you know, they, they weren't adapted to it. Right, right. And so these folks then had their redoubt in the Everglades and Big Cypress. So this is uh, some of the examples of the clothing they would be wearing. Right, at the time. 1850s, 1860s, 1840s. Churning butter. Watch out for that good. Exactly, right. exactly. Right. Yeah, <laughs> the alligator there. <laughs> and then, of course, there's this contact between the pioneers who come and the Native Americans who are living in the Everglades and elsewhere. And that contact it comes through vehicles like this dugout canoe, which is a cypress tree. <laughs> About 125 years of age, probably. That's what they were looking Can for. Old cypress this? trees. Do we they know would, the length of that thing? I'm telling you, it's just amazing. It is. And I they, mean, would, just, they would it, put the entire family on it and bring goods they would trade with the Brickles at their trading post on the south bank of the river, about where the circle is. There's a flag there. Yeah, the, well, Florida's been under a bunch of different flags over time. Yeah, we That's have. for sure. Wow. My God, all the time. Yeah. And so these are some of the, you know, the pioneer moments in time. Uh, they would sell Kunti starch for flour, as flour and cooking. Uh, that was a big cash crop in the area. Coconut Grove, very creative, eccentric, accomplished place. This is a late 1880s photograph with probably the one camera, that's Ralph Monroe. Uh, in oh. fact, we have a state park, uh, the Barnacle State Park, right. that's his property. Right. And you've got artists there. And uh, writers, naturalists. And you know all of the people, they're all listed. Yeah, they're all listed there too, yeah. And the kind of- Two title counts. So the beginning of Coconut Grove really Modern was kind of Harriet, right Harriet there. Beecher yes, yes. Stowe yes. Right. was Harriet in Harriet Beecher Stowe's son um, was a reverend, and he was down there with the group. He's in the photograph. <laughs> Dr. Tiger is in there. Here's Dr. Tiger right here. Oh, wow. Two titled counts. So, that's, you know, it's, it's a fascinating really story. Cool. So, we're, you know, we're getting closer to when Julia Tuttle, Tuttle helps Flagler. convince Henry Flagler in 1895 to bring his railroad to Miami, which happens in 1896. Yeah. And this is this is the birth year. Uh, it's kind of where everybody could get here, right? Exactly. You finally had contact with the outside world. You know, Dr. George, I think my favorite thing, though, is the trolley car. The trolley's wonderful. We had trolleys that crisscross the streets of what we call Center City, Miami. Now, what the, years? The end of the 1910s till 1940. And they were gone after 1940. Oh, that's such Cars a shame. began to take over. Cars took over. Uh, from Miami Beach, they came from Carl Gables, and when it was north, uh, as far north as Buena Vista. I've never seen one of these. Well, this never is great. Seen and it's, been... it's a great piece, too. I mean, yes. this thing looks like it's brand new. I know, I know. I know. I mean, they you found look... this buried somewhere in somebody's backyard, <laughs> uh, did a major refurbishment. We're talking now about 40 years ago they, they overtook this thing. It's, this it's, was in the early it's 80s. It's amazing. I mean, the seating here is it's terrific. Fan, it's fantastic. It's just, it's, it's a shame that we, we don't have it anymore I know. in Miami. It's so much easier to get around, too. Right. The traffic problems we have. Right. Here are the 20s, when Miami goes from kind of like a frontier community to an emerging metropolitan area. I mean, it began to boom with real estate everywhere. Right. Celebrities were. We had this Polo? Is, yeah, this is Polo, Carl Fisher, who was the early developer of Miami right. Beach. This was his hotel for Mount Sinai Medical Center is today. That was the Nautilus Hotel. He brought in Italian polo players. We had Babe Ruth where, where and spring was this? training. Fulford. This was up in today's North Miami Beach. They ran one race there, 1926. A speedway, yeah. the hurricane of 26 took it out. Oh, and Babe Ruth? Cool. Babe Ruth was here. Uh, matter of fact, uh, this was uh, at Miami Field right behind the Orange Bowl. I played high school baseball, in fact, on that field. <laughs> wow. But uh, you would know the area, Jimmy. It's like 4th Street and Northwest 16th right. Avenue. Right, yeah, I know the area. So, I, you know, this is, these are the 20s. I mean, this is sensational what goes on here. And art, the Art Deco Theater, what was, what was that? Well, the Art Deco Theater would showcase Art Deco on oh, South I see, you're just showcasing yeah, yeah, the, the, yeah. I see, I see. Which was, uh, which was phenomenal in the district, as we all know. Gosh. All well, those buildings. Look, I, I gotta tell you, this is something that every South Floridian, it should be yes. required for every 
a teenager to come to and right. see what to, the to understand is. This to understand system, what yeah. we are and who we are. Yeah. We tend to think, I moved here in 1978. And I think, gosh, I've been here for so long. Well, <laughs> yeah. that's about the edge of the spear when you're thinking about the length of the yes, history yes. the people have inhabited Right up in this room, I mean, we can see that. Right. You know, that oh, it's God. History Miami Museum. Uh, they're open, and go, go find out more. HistoryMiamiMuseum.org is where you can right. find them. Come take your We're kids We're giving here. away two tickets. We are to, to, to the exhibit for Gridiron exhibit. Glory. Yeah. Okay, we'll do that a little bit later in the show. Dr. George, thank you so thank much. You. It was thank a pleasure. You. Great, great to see you great, all. Thank great you to see you so much. This was such a lesson. We'll yeah, right. Right. Glad Come we and walk see. Through you this. will not be disappointed. We'll come back with more right after this on Eat This, Drink That, Go. Eat This, Drink That, Go.